Hi, everybody. This is Tanya Ortiz, creator of the Facebook group, Create Your Own Economy Today, as well as for the people who don't like Facebook, www.createyourowneconomytoday.com. In our forum, we talk about, as well as our Facebook group, we talk about dumpster diving, uh, penny shopping at the Dollar General. That's what today's topic is going to be, as well as couponing. Now, this video is all about if you couldn't find anything today or yesterday at the Dollar General, I want you to change your mindset, okay? There's going to be a new rule in our group, folks. The new rule in our group is no more negativity. I don't want to see another post that I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm in Alabama. I'm in Arkansas. Nothing pennied out in my city. Nothing pennied out in my state. You know why? And I'm not trying to come from a mean place when I say this. Negativity is contagious, okay? Um, if you ask my admin, EJ, which I talk to just about every single day, she knows when I'm even having conversations with people, I don't even allow people to talk negative about their life to me, okay? So if I don't like to hear conversations like that, I definitely don't like to read negativity. Why? Because it's contagious, okay? When you read positive stuff, it comes into your mind and it becomes you. When you read negativity, it comes into your mind and it becomes you. And so I kind of let it go the last couple of days, yesterday and today. Uh, there's been a lot of posts of, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm in Arkansas. I'm in out of Oklahoma or wherever. And nothing pennied out and I can't find anything and there's no penny items. And I read it and I read it and I read it. And normally when I see those kind of posts, I cringe. I'm like, ah, you know, surely there's some penny items. You're just not finding them. And I must confess, as much positivity um, that I try, I try to surround myself with nothing but positive influences, positive talks, reading personal development books, always having, you know, feeding my mind with positive uh, books and information and talking to people who are only positive. I was that person yesterday. No, I was that person yesterday and today. Okay. So one, I had tunnel vision when I went out to, to shop. I didn't see anything else. I was tunnel vision. I was like, okay, I'm looking for lawn and garden. I'm looking for lawn and garden. So I went to one store. I went to another store. I didn't see lawn and garden. Went to another store. Then I was very unhappy because I got a boatload of stuff like this. This did not. Yeah, it's an $8 item. I could sell it, make money. I mean, yeah, I have two and a half acres, but you only have one or two hoses. I can't use a thousand and one of these, okay? So I found lots of this kind of stuff. And I wasn't happy. Um, so I was talking to one of my admins, Heather, on the phone. And I became that person that I hate. I hate to read. There's nothing in my city. I was that person today, folks. I was talking to Heather. Now, mind you, I had... My focus was so on lawn and garden, lawn and garden. So I went to one store, scored lawn and garden. Then I went to another store, another store, another store. I didn't see lawn and garden. So I'm talking to Heather today. And I, I was that person that I, I don't like to read about. So Heather, I'm jealous of you. There's nothing in my whole city. I was that person. My whole city, there's nothing. I mean, these stores just clean. I'm not finding anything. Heather, I need to go to Texas, you know? And so Heather said, basically, you know, I, I, I needed to change my mindset. I need to get my mind off the lawn and garden. See, there's lots of penny items all over my whole city. The only problem was my mind was so laser focused on lawn and garden, I didn't see any of these items. So Heather said, okay, go in the store. I'm going to talk to you on the phone. So I don't, I, again, I was laser focused. I wasn't, I was only looking for certain items and it just did not click. So Heather's like, okay, Tanya, I want you to look for a black basketball. I got fire. <gasps> I see it. I see net one, but I see two. And then Heather's still on the phone. Okay, Tanya, forget the lawn and garden. We're not even looking for a lawn and garden today. I want you to look for the, the for the baton. That's half a baton. I see it, Heather. I see lots of them. Woo! You know? Then she's like, look for the water stuff, the water balloon. Ah! I see lots of these. Ah! You know? And it wasn't that the items wasn't there, folks. 
It's just I wasn't looking for those items. It's then Heather's still in my ear, and she was like, all right, Tanya, I want you to look for uh, the things that kids play with, and it'll be loose, like shovels and hockey sticks. And then I was all excited, and I was like, woohoo, Heather, I see them. I see them all. And she was like, okay, remember that silly putty we played with when we were little kids? I see, no, I don't see one. I see a whole box full. Ah! So, I go all that to say, folks, if you don't get up, I'll pop you in the head with one of these. I say all that to say a couple of things. It's not that your stores are totally clean. I don't believe the whole city was clean because my whole city wasn't clean because I was, as Heather was like, change your mindset, Tanya. Stop looking for lawn and garden. Let's start looking for the toys. Let's start looking for washcloths. Let's start looking for green dot items. When I changed what I was, what my focus was, I begin to see other items. Now, we've said this, but most of you guys are not taking it seriously. Get a buddy. I'm not the buddy. I have 4,000 people in a group, 4,000 people on Facebook. I don't want 500 private messages. I am not the person to say, hey, Tanya, is this a penny? Get somebody in the group that you could pick up the phone and call, okay? So if you're not finding stuff, I want you to find a buddy. It doesn't have to be somebody. If there is nobody that lives in your area, just having Heather's in Texas. I'm in Maryland. Just having Heather on the phone in my ear. Just, okay, look for this. Look for that. Look. And I saw the pictures. I don't know why. Just There was a disconnect in my head. I was just lawn and garden, lawn and garden. So I say all that to say there'll be no more negativity in my group. I don't want to hear about there's nothing that pennied out in your whole entire city. I don't believe that. I honestly think for a lot of you that I know you're saying, I'm matching stuff up. No, get a buddy. Get somebody on a telephone. I don't care if you're in the store and you got to take a picture and text it to a friend. Do that. You know, or do like I did. I had somebody constantly in my ear. Look for this. Look for that. Look, you know, and I went to all these stores yesterday and I was like, oh, there's nothing. It's just a stupid lawn and garden haul that I got. And, you know, I don't want to sound ungrateful. But, you know, I was like, my whole city is clean. So that goes to show your cities are not clean. If you have to go back to the store, and I, I covered my whole city yesterday, and I went back today and still did very well. So for those of you who could not find anything yesterday, you couldn't find anything today, get a buddy. And I want you to change your mindset. Get somebody else that can feed something else in your mind because you might be looking for washcloths when maybe your store has a lot of these and you're just not looking for these. I mean, it was just amazing how today my mind opened up just by getting different information. Somebody saying, look for this, look for this. And yes, I looked through the group. I had screenshots of pictures, but there was a disconnect. I was strictly on lawn and garden. So the lesson is I want you guys who are struggling, who are not finding any items and it's not going to be me. I want you to find a buddy in a group, somebody that you could go in store. And it was a couple of items where I just took a picture in a store. I was like, hey, Heather, um, I think it was this, you know, glow stick. I was like, I think I got it. Heather, this is it. I got it. So if you have to do that and take a picture in a store and text it to a buddy and say, is this it? Do that, you know? And if you can't find anything, you know, partner up somebody in person or somebody, just having somebody on the telephone will make it a lot easier. And that being said, um, no more negativity. I don't want to hear that there's nothing else in your city. There is. You guys, just like I was today, you are not looking because yesterday I was looking, but I wasn't looking. And I fed into the negativity that I was reading that, oh, there's nothing in my city. I need to be in Texas where Heather is or where uh, EJ is, where I can find everything. That was a lie. So let's get rid of the negativity. Let's only have positive um information so we're only going to put positive stuff uh no more negativity in the group okay i want you guys find a buddy if you're struggling do like i did today and find a buddy and you will be amazed at the stuff that you guys can find okay that's all for now if you haven't joined our group i want you to join our group it's create your own economy today christmas is coming folks don't hit me up a week or two uh, before Christmas saying, hey, Tanya, what about this business that you've been talking about for the last several months? Because I'm going to say it's too late. Okay, people are buying Christmas toys 
now on eBay. Okay, so it's a work at home business. It is $20. It's not free. Don't ask me how much it costs. Don't even ask me about the business until you watch the presentation. Okay, I'll just put you in the ignore if you do that. So go to www.todaygetpaid.com. That's how I'm able to just in the middle of the day go penny shopping again because my time is my time. I don't have a nine to five. Okay. Again, I know I'm a fast talker. It's www.todaygetpaid.com. Type that into your browser. You'll see how you can work from home using Amazon and eBay. Okay. I hope this has helped somebody. And if it has, I'm going to ask you to share this video to your friends who might be penny shoppers and they're struggling also. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.